most of you guys are gonna be taking mistaking this very sensor before the throttle body as a mass airflow sensor which is actually absolutely good and uh, positive thinking but I think that positive thinking right now as we stand in as much as BMW N54 and some other makes which I'm believing is gonna be uh, rolling out is gonna be outdated kind of thinking the reason there is this is what most manufacturers has been following but right now BMW decided to change the game because when it is here or even somewhere here like you can see in some of your cars some other car brands then you're gonna be having a problem anytime these are uh, inlet uh, air boots air ducts get a problem and there is a leak there is a vacuum leak the car is gonna start uh, going into rich mixture but right now as it is my only problem that I found here is the mass airflow sensors for this very car which is right here you can see that is the mass airflow sensor right there and this is the map sensor which is some sort of different uh, orientation or uh, placement because in many other cars we see this is where the map sensor is and this is where the mass airflow sensor could be B in many cases in VW I've seen it but in those cases when there is a, a vacuum leak there is going to be a problem but this one when there is a vacuum leak it's not going to affect the engine performance that much it's going to affect some other things but not the engine performance so here my question is why is this mass airflow sensor my functioning or maybe because of it has some dirt and the computer never reported it so why with that said I'm gonna pull in that off let me hang my camera let me pull this off then we get to see what is there what happens If it is dirty but 9 out of 10 is gonna be dirty because I am certain that uh, it is not so easily found and if it is not so easily found then uh, troubleshooting knowing exactly what to look out for when trying to find it for most uh, BMAS tags could be challenging as except if suppose they have encountered this before so I'm trying to find a nice place to put my camera and losing this out so that you guys can participate and see what I'm talking about what you should be looking out for when you have this kind of problem is looking within the intake lines right you have to scan through all the intake lines now for most of you I've watched a video where someone is actually pointing that this is the mass airflow sensor right here where my hand is that is attached within this line here but that is not true so the funniest thing here which I'm actually thinking that is where the mass airflow sensor is is Use my tip today when you're having a mass airflow sensor issue with your BMW and I guarantee you it's going to work. You suppose that's the problem. Alright? So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to loosen out this one here. Okay, when I lose another one, I think this engine might shake a lot because I'm going to pull out these two vacuums here, this uh, thing here, or possibly, let me leave it and see how I'm going to have my way around it, it's going to be a little bit tough. Okay. Now I'm not expecting any vibration and why I pulled out of the engine didn't show that doesn't even do anything so that's to tell you that this is a great piece of engineering 
above many other cars that I've come across. So the ingenuity that BMW used here is it's supposed to place the mass airflow sensor somewhere around here like other manufacturers. You're gonna be dealing with a vacuum leak. So if you have a vacuum leak in your BMW, it wouldn't affect the idle truck uh, idle uh, the idle of the car the idling but if suppose you don't then you should look out for some other things so if you have an idle problem rough idle problem with a BMW don't think it's a vacuum because it can be a vacuum especially for N54 and why did I say that because the airflow meter is now within this line where they didn't situate it where it's gonna uh, have any vacuum to affect it so if I take off this box right now and boom that is it right there can you see that I am certain because there is no way there's gonna be two mass airflow sensor two map sensor in the system but what they did here which is very interesting which some other car makes are not doing is This is the mass airflow sensor here. Can you see that? So it's right on top of the manifold. And I'm going to prove that to you guys. If I disconnect it, the reading from the car, even the car might be able to shut down. I don't want to do that. But that is it. For the sake of this video, if that is what you want to see, that is it. But if you want to learn more, you can continue with this video because I'm going to be teaching some other things you might have not come across from any BMW tech guys. Now the other video which I saw was showing that the guy was actually pointing that this is the mass sensor because it's before the intake manifold. But that is not the mass sensor. That is actually the map sensor, the manifold absolute pressure sensor. Then for over here, this position where this sensor is right now is going to make it to be, to be much more effective. Why did I say that? Let me explain. If it is here, you have less worry about vacuum leaks. And when you have less worries about vacuum leaks, what is going to happen? It means even when you have a vacuum leak, it's not going to affect your air fuel ratios. So with me discovering this this morning, it not only improved my own knowledge and diagnostic capability, but also going to start saving more fuel for the owners of this very car that I'm fixing right here. So, I want you guys to pay a very good attention. The mass airflow sensor for BMW, you have the orange, the, the orange wire, sorry, the yellow wire on the left, you have the red, and black on the right you have the blue and black in the middle so it's just three pin mass airflow sensor but if you look at the construction feature of this very mass airflow sensor let me shut down the engine and show you something okay back here that the engine has uh that's shut down the engine i want to show you guys something real quick to remove this is very simple let's get this one out of the way which is you pull this one off Normally, this clip right here, if you tilt it to here, then it's locked. But if it is at the position it is right now, it's open, so you can grab it. So if you pull it like this, it's locked. And here, so let me get out the other one too. Okay, suitable one to lose it out. Now, if you have a mass airflow sensor, if you are suspecting that your mass airflow sensor could be bad, I want you to do this with the engine on. Just find something and tap it a little bit not too hard like I just tapped this one here so let's still proceed on loosening it that's for the rest of you who's still watching up to this very moment I'm gonna lose this thing out then we'll take a look at it together and see what is there this guy has been having a very hard time with rough idle all this while so it's not throwing any trouble code, which really is so freaking disturbing. 
the readings I'm getting right there, I'm not seeing anything from the manufacturers concerning the readings, which could actually pinpoint that it's actually faulty. So with that done, I'm gonna go ahead and pull up this clip. Okay, first of all, let me pull it out. Gently, there is a seal there. That is it. Okay. Just like this, you can see that there's a lot of oil right there. The presence of oil and a mass airflow sensor, this kind of mass airflow sensor is different from the traditional ones that we know. This is more like a manifold absolute pressure sensor. Most of the pictures I'm seeing on the internet concerning the mass airflow sensor for this car is not a match for it. So both on Google search, both on YouTube search, there is no such thing. So here, the presence of uh, oil on a mass airflow sensor like this is going to be able to shield it from doing the right calculation that is supposed to the right information the ECU needs. So, with that said, I'm going to go ahead and clean it, clean this up. Don't use a cap cleaner. I don't recommend the cap cleaner. And uh, when I clean it on, I'm going to put it back and start the car and drive the car and test it around. Now, if there is any other for that shaky shaky. I'm gonna be replacing this out of the beach. Now, one other thing I wanna say here is, most often times, when your mass airflow sensor is acting up, doesn't mean that it's actually bad. Listen, trust me, they all need attention like women too. Now, with that said, you need attention, so you gotta give it to them. So right now, I'm gonna unclip it, which is gonna be from this tab right here, then pull it. Okay, pulling this can be quite a little bit tricky with this pin on, that's why many people, many tech get to break it, so I think it's going to be better off here, so let me, so that thing can help me hold it, be a third hand. It's not advisable to pull it on the wiring harness, now she's out. I'm going to pull this one out see the connectors the connectors are clean so which means most of the techs who have been working on this car have no any idea that this is a mass airflow sensor this could be the nightmare that they have been facing so let me put that out and uh, now if you don't see the oil let me touch it and show you my hand is quite a little bit clean but you can see right now let me brush it again you can see a lot of oil in there Okay, so uh, those oil could be the oil which uh, is left off on the PCV crankcase. So right now let me go clean it up and install it back. Then we'll start the car and see what we got. Okay, you can see it's dissolving. I got some thing to it now. For most of you who don't have a mass airflow sensor cleaner, like I can find somewhere down here in Nigeria. Let me show you a trick to cleaning this. You can use this. You can use your perfume, your doors and gabbana, whatsoever. In as much as it's perfume, it has alcohol, rubbing alcohol content inside, so you can clean this shit up real fast. Okay, so you're gonna spray it, allow it for some time, then you start cleaning it up, spray it again. Let me show you, it's very simple. You can see it right now. You can use your cup cleaner on this. Now you can see my hands. You can see it it's still. Look at that dirt. So a lot of dirt right here. I'm going to be getting a cutting board to clean it up. You can get to the main element inside, which they build all this uh, cage to actually protect it, which is good. So, let me get it cleaned up one more time when I'm done. And I'll get to install it back, then we'll go and test it. Okay, further on the cleaning, it's idealistic to use a simple toothbrush that is soft to get up some of this dirt out by doing so. You can flash this while holding it to the body, so you're gonna flash it somewhere. And 
be careful because if you damage it well the past toy is not so far away from you but just little little uh, a gamble here and get a nickel for his grandma so be very careful so you can get a nickel for your grandma now after using the toothbrush to clean it too, to really clean you can see the dirt that's coming out of it so it's not only dusty dirt there are also oil so now with this toothbrush it's easier now as it is right now it's clean but I'm gonna be needing to use a cutting wood to clean it from the inside when I'm done you can start putting it back okay guys uh, I have finished them now coupled it back and started cast you can see it's idling does very fine so thank you for your time hope this helped you to fix your problem uh, if it does give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel share with your friends and I gotta catch you guys later don't forget to change the sparks and perform every necessary uh, service that might be required that you haven't before thank you